Hey boys and girls, we're back. And I am going to open another collector's box of Kamigawa. Uh, this came from my LGS, which is deuceswildgames.com. And uh, I buy most of my product there. Some of it I buy online, I admit it. But uh, I do try to keep and support my LGS. So um, let's get to cracking and we'll talk about stuff as we're doing that. Woo. Okay, open it up with that old sharp knife. We're gonna try some different positioning with the camera. I noticed in some of the videos that you couldn't really see the cards quite as well as I thought you'd be able to. Um, some of that was because I was trying to hold up the camera and it just kept trying to fall, so we'll see. I, I'm sure there's a sweet spot when it comes to positioning this stuff. And uh, bear with me. So that's all I ask. So we've got 12 packs here, and we, we're going to start to open them. I'm really hoping we get something good out. I'm a little nervous because one of my friends uh, broke open a pack from this same case back at the shop and he got a uh, wandering emperor that was in the foil etched and um, plus a, a regular wandering emperor so uh, and then another friend cr cracked open a pack at the shop and that had in it a, um, a Phyrexian uh, Tamiyo so I just hope there's still some good stuff. So let's see what we got. We got our, you know, we're just gonna put these off to the side. I know we love the lands, we absolutely love them, but we've got our our commons and uncommons and then all of our showcase cards. So here's the, the beef of what's in the rares. So Surge Hacker Mech, oh, that's got some value. This is Kappa Cannoner. And it's at least five or six bucks last I looked. So, and it's in the full art. Um, let's see, March of Burgeoning Life. Burgeoning, I don't know if I can pronounce that. Well, this is a great card. It's unfortunately, I mean, it's, it's the exact card I want, but it is not in the exact color I want. So the purple, the showcase really doesn't have much of a value. A few bucks. I mean, it's not it's not terrible. Oh, there we go. That's a Tezzeret uh, in foil. Very nice. Very nice. Cool. Well, we've got a decent card there. Let's see if I can move some of this stuff off to the side. All right. So this one is actually a bigger hit. We're gonna put that up to the side. And we will see what else we got. Excuse my sniffing. The allergies are starting to get to me this year already. Fun stuff. And like I said, commons and uncommons. I mean, not that they're, they don't have some value because we like to play with them. These gorgeous, gorgeous lands. And they are going for a considerable amount actually so all right this is a fun card to play with kadai uh soul of kamigawa oh there goes the camera well that was fun well let's readjust that that came up and let's see if we can tighten this screw just a hair let's see if that works all right Thought I had it really well. All right, there's another full art. Oh, that's a nice full art as well. So that's the commander card. And then we have a full art of the regular card. Oh, well, that's good. That's a, the dragon. There we go, the black dragon, Junji. And then Quite a beautiful, and that actually, that's a mythic that's worth some pennies there, at least. And then we have a beautiful foil in um, 
our token. All right. So we will keep up the work and see. Like I said, I'm really looking forward to getting some beef out of this. And so, you know, we've gotten a couple of good hits. I can't complain. Um, with the price of the boxes, though, I'm hoping, I'm hoping to hit one of those uh, neon cards. That would be fantastic. The red one is worth the most. That's a beautiful land again. Uh, but I wouldn't be adverse to the green or the blue. I wouldn't complain. So sometimes I get lucky. I do have a case of this to break open at some point, but uh, there's only so much. I think you guys are going to get just bored of the Kamigawa. And we'll see what happens here. Nothing great. These packs are a pain to open. You can spend half the video opening the pack. But, I mean, I definitely am an addict when it comes to cracking packs. It's a terrible thing. Uh, you know, the other thing that's got some value, which is just so amazing, is the shrine token. So, this, I thought when I first, when I first opened my pack of this, I thought those scratches were at, were damage, but actually that's the, that looks like rain. So it's cool. I love the lands. Um, so yeah, when, uh, oh, I forget what story I was telling, but, oh, it doesn't matter. It'll come back to me. That's what happens when you get to be my age. You sort of forget things. All right, well, this is uh, Tales of the Mirror Break or Fable of the Mirror Breaker, and you get a 2 2 goblin, and then if you can get it bigger, you get to the Kiki Jiki is just amazing. All right, and then we've got the Mecha Titan Core. Uh, somebody played against me with that. Oh, there you go, another Kiki Jiki reflection of Kiki Jiki, this time in the foil. Uh, yeah, somebody played the Mecha Titan core against me during one of my drafts, and uh, yeah, it just kicked my butt, so I gotta say. So, I like playing with these cards. Um, I, I like drafting with them. I like the deck. The deck I have for my pre-release is absolutely broken. Um, it's the green and red one and I, it's just it's so strong and so powerful that I I almost feel like I don't want to beat anybody up too badly with it all right March of swirling mist and imposter mech is our commander card uh, Tameshi reality architect Mirror box, and then invoke the winds. Well, so far this box is not great. And you know, you're paying a small fortune for these boxes. Uh, they're selling at my LGS for 250 currently, and uh, it's just you, you're hoping you you rarely get the price out, but. Like I said, my friend pulled a, it, it was the alternate art Japanese style wandering emperor in foil, um, in foil etched. And uh, the foil etched was running about 205. Oh, there we go. Kura, the boundless sky. We got another mythic. Um, and then the foil was two and a quarter, so, uh, you can't complain about those kind of cards, but so far, all right, well, there's one of the lands, and full art is nice, and then restoration, oh, and then that's an, a foil etched, Satoru Omazawa, very nice. 
So it was super cold today and it snowed again. And just, I'm all snuggled up in my flannels and jammies. But cracking packs is what I like to do. It's, it's not the greatest addiction, I get it. Um, but I enjoy it. And it's a safe addiction. Unless you count the money we spend. Oh, there's the Hidetsu again. Um, unfortunately, that's not the color that we're looking for. That is only worth a few bucks, if that, at this point. All right, Rampant Rejuvenator. There's another Hidetsu. I'm telling you. Uh, again, not the one we're looking for. And then it's the Toad Rider. And the artwork is just amazing. Some of these, like the Kadai there, you'd think, I mean, the beauty of that, you'd think it was worth a whole lot more. Uh, I do love playing with it, but it just, from a monetary point of view, is not worth that much. So I do have a bunch of old stuff that eventually I'd like to open on the channel, but I'd really like the channel to get up there uh, with higher views and more people. Oh, oh, look what I see. There we go. A beautiful foil gingitaxius. So that's a pretty major hit. If it was in the... So this one runs... Um, about $16, $17 in the regular. The foils probably got it up higher. The um, the Phyrexian was about $45. So, excellent hit. There we go. Again, not the price of the box. The price of the box, you really need to get um, the alternate art. Uh, wandering Emperor, but I do not expect to see that with having my friend hit that in the box right before mine. You know, I I was hesitating about buying a box, and he jumped in there and got it. But you know, maybe we'll get lucky. Maybe we'll get a maybe we'll get something better. Maybe we'll get one of the um, neon cards. That would be fantastic. Uh, so far at my shop. We have seen one person pull one. I believe it was a blue, if I'm not mistaken, since I heard it secondhand and didn't get to watch it be opened. But you never know what you're going to come across. So far, meh. It's been a meh box, but we've got about three more packs to go. And... We'll see. Oh, I know what I was talking about. The uh, token, the shrine token, is worth a significant amount of money. I think it's worth more than 10 bucks at this point. I think it was in the 20 to 30 range because there was an error with the printing. And it didn't actually get into the print runs from what I was told. So I have not come across a shrine token yet which is um, interesting because I open a lot of this stuff, but I have not seen a shrine token. So that would be fun to open as well. Lizard blades, I just opened another one of these and uh, the artwork is just crazy. I love it. Liz uh, there's a lizard on a couple of swords. Pretty cool. All right, thundering Raju. Again, nothing to get worked up about. Maybe I should check these, make sure there's no, nope, nope, but we do have the Tezzeret token. So that's cool. All right, two more packs to go. Let's hope we get something decent. but I don't know. I think my friend got the firebox, so. And the one card he wanted was not in there. So that is, he wanted one of those commander cards, the shrine guy. So he did not get that. And there's 
Ao or Owl. Dragon Kami Reborn, Teachings of the Kirin, and Not a Shrine. All right, last pack. So, you know, these, these get expensive, and I, I hate to keep opening and opening. I, we're really chasing the cards, and the likelihood of coming across one of those is very small. So you basically end up spending almost as much money. There's another, red, the red land again. And then Ascendant Hinata. I like this card. Um, it's not worth a whole lot, but I do like it. There's a Kadama. I mean, reasonable hit. And March of Swirling Mist. So unfortunately, not great. Uh, we did get a couple of hits. You know, this, uh, the Gintaxis is probably the biggest one in there. Um, so, sort of a mad box. Um, I'm a bit disappointed in it. But you can't win them all. So, hope you like to watch the video. If you like to watch me cracking packs, great. I really would like to get the channel up to a higher number of subscribers. If we can get up to... Um, a thousand subscribers. I will crack one of the older boxes. I've got some Japanese um, War of the Spark that's got some chase cards in it. And uh, I've actually even got a pack of Tempest, which is a, um, a it's like a, a smaller box, uh, not just a single pack. And I'm hanging on to that until we get to a higher number of subscribers. So if we get there, then we'll open some older stuff, which will be a lot more fun. In any event, if you like the video, uh, leave a like, leave a comment, and I hope to see you soon. Thanks so much.